It's the first kickoff of the semi final of the Chief Mighty edition of the Chief Tower Gujabi under 15 football competition. We are set on the way again for the first semi final. Team Oyos slugging it out now with the Remo Stars on the 15 side. In white is the Remo Stars on the 15, and the opponent in this afternoon game is Team Oyo. But Taita look arrival when it comes to competitions like this. And it's going to mean a lot for the two teams. Booking a place in the final means a lot to these two teams. The both met in the MPF fall on the 15. La Liga champion, hosted by the Remo Stars team down in Kenya, Ogun State. And once again, the two teams are facing each other in a moment very much important in football. A semi final. Teams will be dreaming of playing in the final. We're set to watch a 90 minute of football crack and a lot of actions, reactions, and drama. <laughs> These two teams had a very good campaign in their group stage. <laughs> Stops him forward, and it's the turn of the Remo Stars to attack for the very first time in this game. Intercepted perfectly well, but still not yet way out. And the ball is out surely for a corner. First corner of the game goes in favor of the Remo Stars on the 15th side, who are looking very much promising in attack. Such a team on your side, we're not fully well today. I here for business and as well the defenders who will be busy for the next 90 minutes. The two teams are good in attacking, but the best side to utilize the chance created will surely secure that final ticket, which is the permanent hall of the two teams. Not possible to see the two teams in the final, surely one will progress. Let's see forward and the vendor is there. Advantage Team Oyo for the very first time they're pushing the attack forward. And the camera, my brother. Ah. Akim Bashir is back in goal for Remo Stars on the 15th side. Couple of good saves in their first opening two matches. And it will surely be in action for the next 90 minutes facing Timoyo side, who is very good in attacking. Surprising to see Timoyo losing their last game in the group stage to Tim Quara by a long goal, a goal from Salahuddin Bashid. Secured a maximum three point for the Tim Quara in the last game against the Timoyo side. Very surprising, unpredictable side. The smile on with a maximum three point, but the semi final will surely be unpredictable. Seeing Tim on your side playing Remo Stars under 15, the two attacking side, the best side surely will go home with a smile to play in the final on Sunday afternoon. Free kick from a reverse angle for the team on your side, and it's a call of attention to the defenders of the Remo Stars under 15. For the very first time, the team on your side will be pushing the attack forward. Support delivery at the end, it's blocked by the wall. They can still return to attack. Surely that will be a foul. Good call by referee advantage Timoyo for another free kick. It's all well I know these two sides will display one of the best football. They are the contender in this tournament. We hope to see them in the final, but now it's the crack of playing in the semi-final. <laughs> the 
This two teams are surely the local rivals. Very much sure it's not a strange fixture. Seeing these two teams playing the semi final in the competition that matters a lot. This is one of the stage of competition that matters a lot for footballers. It's a good delivery from the free kick and it's well catched by Akim Bashir who have no problem with that. Isaiah David is back and go for Timoyo side. He was replaced by second goalkeeper yesterday against Tim Quara, where they lost one goal to Neil. But once again, he's back in action to feature for the team on your side. And in my Damara Moose. A call for the referee, and once the total to be retaken. Three minutes gone so fast. Two goal as assistance between Timoyo and the Rebel Stars on the 15th. First semi final kickoff of the Chief Taiwo OGW Memorial on the 15th football competition. The flag is up for a foul throw. And that will be advantage for the Timoyo side. It's a troll. Ibi, Ibi, Jamado Sibe, Emago. Confidence control from the team on your side. It's she too for us. She is dragging the ball, trying to dazzle away from the two players. And swings the ball forward. Well located now for Shito Fawas to push the attack forward, promising now for Timoyo's side. And well recovered there right by the right back. They need to be very careful not to make a silly mistake. They're making everything work out up for the two teams. But the best team to cover Charles created will surely smile on with a place in the final of this competition. The flag is up, advantage Ramos does. Absolutely, it's going to be a lot of drama for the next 90 minutes as we hope to see. Five minutes gone so fast, they go less. They're looking very much promising in front, talking of the Ramos Stars under 15. Foul given by referee, advantage Ramos Stars for another free kick. <laughs> Mr. Milano, they're looking very much dangerous when they attack in front, talking of the Ramos Stars. It's a big call for the Timoyo defenders. Knowing fully why it's going to be a busy 90 minutes of football. Communication between Oguni Shei and his own teammate Azan Wahab. It's called Braze in their opening goal, Feast Yo. Against the team Ogu side, talking of Wahab Azan, it's called Braze in their first opening Feast Yo. And in the time that matter most, it would surely. Want to put his name on the score sheet again in a time that matter most. Foul given. Advantage. Timoyo from the center circle. Launch it forward. Not the best control there from Shito Fawaz and he's out for a throw. It's going to be a very tense semi-final. We all know about that. Ramos Task on the 15th side qualify with five points as a runner up in Group B. Why the team are you 
as the winner of the Group A with six points after losing their last game against Team Quara. Surprisingly, one good to know. Goal from Salahuddin Bashit in the first half of the game secured a maximum three points for the Team Quara side in the last fixture of the group stage. But that doesn't stop the dream of the team on your side playing in the semi-final now. And they are playing a better side. Where they know it's going to be a big tax and a big test for the team Ayo and the Remo Stars on the 15th side. Still to come, the second semi-final for today. We'll see Team Osho slug it out with Team Lagos. That as well as will be a big game to watch a big crack as well good campaign in the group stage for the team marshall without tasting the feet hopefully coming with full confidence in the semi-final to face the team lego side was kept through the group stage with a goal difference Sends it back again and lots it forward. No shot on target from the both sides. Knowing fully well the defenders have been doing pretty well to make sure the all time on goals have been stopped from their territory. It's the first semi final kickoff of the Chief Tai Wogu Jabi Memorial under 15 football competition. Still goal as it stands between Timoyo and Remo Stars under 15. Not so surprised to see uh, how tense this game had been so far since the start of this game. Remo starts can attack now from the left flank. It means strikes and go for goal himself. It's the woodwork and the goalkeeper chased. And they're very lucky. First time he's got to action, Isaiah David. Almost open the scoring for the Remonster side. The two coaches on the touchline, knowing fully well it's going to be a busy 90 minute for the two tacticians. The flag is up already and relieve that pressure for a free kick. Kick advantage after the assistant referee flag is up for an offside. Chest forward to attack, loses out the ball, possession cheaply to the hands of the Remo Stars on the 15 to return to attack again. Launch it forward. That's a perfect ball control. That's uh, not the best decision from the referee, but at the end, it goes advantage team on your side. Beautiful control of ball there from Simon Fowers by the end. The referee decision goes against him. And free kick for the team on your side. The two sides are really playing under pressure. Launch it forward now for the team on your to attack now. He strikes the goal himself. Akim Bashir called to action for the very first time. Still two chance moments. And it's very much wide. Best moment. What a chance. What a moment for the team on your side for the very start. Very much first time. They will call Akim Bashir into action. He should have done better than that. What a close moment. Almost open the scoring for the team on your side. My goodness me. Two sides are really playing impressively well. Good attacking football shown by the two sides. And the goalkeepers are doing that man duty. To deny attempt on goal from the two teams. Akim Bashir caught to action once. And did perfectly well. Isaiah David for the team of your goalkeepers were well, caught to action. And his powerful hands to the rescue. Hopefully we'll surely see a lot of dramas and reaction from the two goalkeepers and the players as well. Uh, 
control advantage for the team on your side. This one around is a short one. <laughs> oh, you call me Kadri. Swings the ball. And goalkeeper again. Make sure the ball is well dive out for a goal kick. I'm not so surprised to see this happening in the two side. I really making sure they play massive attack and massive defense. Knowing fully well the best time they can utilize this chance is when it's well created. But the goalkeepers of the two side have done pretty well to make sure all attempt or goal is well saved and denied. Still a lot of dramas and action to watch in this game. This can say it authoritatively, these two teams are one of the best teams in this combination. Long spalling. This may be the moment they're waiting for. The crossbar to the rescue again. It's becoming so much fascinating and interesting. And the crossbar once again denied Remo starts. They had a clear chance in the first five minutes denied by the woodwork. And another moment denied by the crossbar. What a chance again for the Remo Stars to open the scoring for themselves. It's becoming very much tense semi-final game. These two teams have been really playing perfectly well in attack. They just need to put the ball at the back of the net. It's really a very much interesting semi-final to watch. Free kick advantage for the team on your side. Launch it forward. And surely who goes into the referee booking for the very first time and is the captain of the side of the Red Monsters. Not so surprised to see him into the referee booking of Lasukomi Abbas. Needs to be very careful not to see red. First player of this game to goes into the referee booking the captain of the Red Monsters. Free kick in a very promising area now. Communication between Gani Usamad and Okola Mujib. Free kick in a very good area now for a free kick specialist to convert. It goes for goal himself and it's very much wide and it's out for a goal kick at the end. It's really becoming very much interesting to watch this team play. From the start of this competition, I was thinking of seeing this team play in the final. But surprisingly, we are seeing them play in the semi-final in a stage of competition that matters most. A winner in this game will surely have a party night to celebrate on Sunday afternoon to play in the final and have a sorry morning where we have dignities and Nigerian footballers present to watch this young, talented Nigerian football. These are Nigerian footballers' future. Hopefully we see much more of these. And they can just get much more better offer. This competition is surely to discover much more talent and promote young talent from the Southwest Nigeria. And surely we are seeing a lot. Hopefully we get to see more of these in the nearest future and get much more encouragement for these young promising Nigerian players. We are live at the Ataoja School of Science, Oshogwa Show State, where we're having the live broadcast and the live coverage. Of the Chief Taiwo Gunjobi Memorial Under 15 Football Competition, where we are having the first semi final kickoff. You're just joining us. It's the first semi final kickoff between Tim Oyosida and the Ramos Stars Under 15. As it stands, the scoreline still remains blank. Still goalless as it stands. The two teams had really played impressively well. Hopefully, the best side who can convert the chance created was smile on to secure and book a place in the final Sunday afternoon tomorrow. Another chance. This time around, no problem for goalkeeper Kim Bashir. A call from the referee. Advantage Remo Stars on the 15 this time around. Not going into the referee booking very much lucky.
a lot of drama to play before half time and we watch much more reaction in the second 45 minutes as well. It's a fight to finish. Semi final cracker. Where both sides know fully well. Winning this game matters a lot to secure a final ticket. Having 90 minutes draw. We'll surely see your goal straight to penalty shootout. Goal is out for a throw. Quarter of an hour gone so far. It's still goal as it stands. Timo Yonio. Remus has under 15 year old. Been a very much interesting 50 minutes of football action. The two side are still struggling to put the ball at the back of the net. <laughs> Lots forward for attack. Flag takes down now. The defender is there to make the recovery and he's out for a throw in. <laughs> Mindfully, why it's a do of the affair. And Charlie will be on record. First team to secure final ticket in this maiden edition. Actual advantage for the team on your side. Two short charges from the both sides. Save well by goalkeepers. Isaiah David for team on your side and Akim Bashir, the goalkeeper for the Remo Stars under 15 as well. Call to action twice. And shown the quality they are made of with a couple of good saves. Free kick this time. He's going for goal himself and it's a poor one. At the end, he's out for a goal kick. Lungs one, and the defender is there to make the clearance. The first of the officials of the team on your side, they played against Team Lagos, where they won two goals to one, their first opening fixture. Where the Remo Stars on the 50 side won conveniently against the Team Ogo side in their first opening fixture, two goals to nil. The second game was goalless. Against the team on the side, talking of the Remo Stars on the 15. Why the team on your side survive with just a goal against the team Ekiti side? Their last game was against the team on show side, where they played 1 1 draw after 90 minutes. And surprisingly, a scoreline between team on your side and the team Quara. We had a struggling team quarter side, defeated team on your side by Longo, Salaudin Bashid go. Secure that maximum three points to smile on back to Quara for the team quarter side. Free kick surely. And the captain of the side of the Roma Stars need to be very careful not to see a second yellow and to be sent off. Is the offender surely? I'm trying to have some words with the center referee. Free kick from the center circle for the team on your side. Launch it forward. And it's fine touch again by goalkeeper. Well dived for another corner. Corner number two now for the team on your side. The two goalkeepers have been very much flexible in this game. Knowing fully well, they are here for business. Gonna kick for the team on your side. One, two, three, four, five, joining the attack. Good delivery from the set piece. Another way by the defender, still not yet we're cleared. Recovered by the team on your side for another possession of ball to attack. Flags up already, advantage team on your It's been 50-50, but possession advantage. The two sides have played pretty well, and 
to show in the stuff they're made of. Not a flu. They qualified for the semi final of this competition. It's the goal as it stands. The two teams had caught the goalkeepers into action twice. And the two goalkeepers had it pretty well. Classic. <laughs> Goal kick long one into the middle of the area. Team on your side qualified with six points after winning two, lose one. The Remo Stars under 15. The 1-1 one, one and draw two. Sees them with a the runner up in Group B after Team Ondo. We're eliminated with just four points after winning one and draw one. It's not really a bad campaign for the team on those sides, despite eliminating out of the group stage very much early. Hopefully, they'll come next season for a better appearance. Been a very much interesting game so far. First semi final kickoff of the Chief Taiwo Gujabi Memorial Under 50 Football Competition, the maiden edition. Still goalless between the two teams, team on your side and the Remo Stars under 15. Not so surprised to see the scoreline this time. Two teams had really played perfectly well. The goalkeeper that well had made their part positively. Good serve above, perfectly well. Sends it back to his own goalkeeper and no problem there for Isaiah David. The defenders have been doing pretty well for the Rebel Stars. Their height had been much more advantage for them to clear ball on here. Talking of the Rebel Stars on the 15th side. Indeed, this alone had been advantage for them to make sure all balls on here from the team on your side have been dealt with perfectly. I'm very much sure the coach of the team on your side will have to tell his boys play ground ball, play tiki taka than playing balls on here. It's been an advantage for the Remo Stars to clear ball from the hair. Trying to bicycle kick there, but blocked well by the defenders of the Remo Stars on the 15th side. It's a stopover from the middle of the area by the team on your side. Remo Stars played unbeaten in their group stage. One win, two draw. To book a place in this semi-final. And they've been doing perfectly well from the start of this game. They can launch the attack forward once again through Shoot to Flowers. They recovered once again back. In possession, not the best control there from Shito Fawaz, and it's out for a throw in. It's been a very more tense first for five minute appearance for the two teams playing under pressure, knowing fully well they lose, sue them out of this competition, and a winner will surely. Be smiling and have a party night to celebrate or playing in the final on Sunday afternoon. Shoot to fast sit down, but he's back on his feet to continue. Free kick advantage for the team on your side. Will not be in rush. Take a very much short. It's a good delivery and goalkeeper have no problem with that. Hopefully the other team out of this competition will be watching live. As we surely have a link for team outside Oshobo to watch live online. And know fully what is happening here at the Ataoja School of Science for the first semi-final kickoff. Live broadcast and the commentary coming to you live from the home of the Nationwide League One. Ah. 
needs to be very careful not to make a silly mistake. Otherwise, they may just be punished and that may be the end of the game. That may change the whole scenario of the game. It's been a very much balanced first 45 minutes. The two sides have really played well. Knowing fully well, they are playing under pressure. Something well much certain and secured. Is one team will surely qualify for the final out of these two teams playing. These two teams have really been the contender in this competition. I was so surprised to see them play in the semi-final. I'm very much sure the Roman Stars will be surprised to see them as a runner-up in Group B. But nevertheless, the book plays in the semi-final. And that will be that for the first 45 minutes of this first semi-final. It's still goalless as it stands in the first 45 minutes. Team Mayonio, Remo Stars under 15 here to score as well.
back to the second half of this great fixture. We had a very first interesting half and back again for the second half to watch another interesting and entertaining second 45 minutes. These two teams are fighting for a ticket into the final and that will be tomorrow on Sunday afternoon. Hopefully one team out of these two teams will qualify for the final of this maiden edition of Chief Tai Wogunjabi Memorial Under 15 football competition. There is a player down for the team on your side, attend to by his own teammates before the arrival of the center referee to know if the attention of the medical staff will be needed on the player. And the referee signal for the medical attention as the player still done rolling in pain for the team on your side. Just 30 seconds into the second half, he's still goalless as he stands. Team Oyonio. Remo stars on the 15, yet to score as well. It's been a great semi final kickoff between the team on your side and the Remo stars on the 15. The two tied have really shown much more exposure and the class of one of the young talented footballers in the southwest Nigeria. They've really showcased themselves and still much more time towards a couple of actions from these two teams. Free kick for the team on your side. It goes for goal himself and the goalkeeper with a very much important touch to deny Timoyo from scoring. What a vital touch there by the goalkeeper. Very much important to go off for a corner. These two goalkeepers have really been much impressive in this game with a couple of good saves. And once again in the second half, Akim Bashir called to action and did perfectly well to deny Timoyo from scoring. It's the turn of the Remo Stars now to attack. And this will be coming from the back territory for a free kick. Lance it forward, well controlled by locating his own teammates. Only one player joining the attack, two joining. Control well by Habas. He strikes from a long distance. And that will not be a problem for goalkeeper Isaiah David. The two teams are really playing different patterns. She has to break the defense line and put the ball at the back of the net. It's been much more difficult. The good goalkeepers have been doing pretty well to make a couple of saves. We await where the goal will come from. Or we go straight to penalty shootout. Confidence arising now for the team on your side. Loses out the ball possession cheaply. And goalkeeper is there to make the recovery to restart the attack for the team on your side. Oh, that's a lovely turn there from Shitu Fawaz to run from a pace. And good recovery there from the right back to make sure he gets the ball stopped. Shitu Fawaz with another skill to break the defenders. They have a chance to cross now. Good job there by the defenders of the Red Monsters to make the clearance. Still not yet surviving the setup there from the team on your side. Chance to shoot! Oh, goalkeeper with another one class save! It's well read by the goalkeeper and make sure he dives correctly to where the boy is going directly. And it's a fine save again from Kim Bashir to the 19 mile from scoring. Best chance of the second half for the team on your side. And best moment as well for Akim Bashu. And there is another player there for the Remo Stars on the 15th side. Things should be okay. The medical staff attention already needed. And he's back on his feet to continue, hopefully. And the referee wants to have the field to be treated to let play continues.
fair play to the play continues. I would like to see that replay. Best moment for the team on your side. It was free to strike. And the goalkeeper dives all with his whole body to make sure the ball is well safe and covered. To the nine, Timoyo from scoring free kick from the middle of the area now for the Ramon Stars on the 15. Launch forward by Azan Wahab and goalkeeper. Have no problem with that. Couple of good chances in the first half for the Ramon Stars on the 15. One denied by the woodwork, the other by the crossbar. And the second half now. It's becoming much more closer now for the team on your side to open the scoring. But the save from Akim Bashiri is very much important. To hold the goal score line. The Jimmy Peter with the chase of ball from the pace on the right angle. Looking for support of his own teammate. Get support now. He's trying to dazzle away from the two players, but well recovered. It's been a very much tense semi-final. Two teams playing on the pressure. Two teams playing on the tension, knowing fully well. This game matters a lot for their home career as well. A lot of fans, football lovers watching throughout the whole universe. Long ball into Suleiman Fawaz to chase, but too much, and he's out for a throw. The pace from Suleiman Fawaz and the number seven jersey for Tim on your side. Shito Fawaz had been absolutely ridiculous. To Shulai, the two players have really been showing one of the best pacers, a winger. <laughs> it's a surprise ball eating the baby. <laughs> I'm very much sure it's not even a baby, it's a grown up boy. And just touching him surprisingly. And seems caring. But it's surely okay to let play continues. Long one in by Gabriel Raphael. And it's another throw from the reverse angle for Remo Stars as they keep pushing the attack forward. Inside the box area, it's looking dangerous and inside netting for a goal kick. It's not really been a bad outing for the two team. They've really played well in this semi final. But surprisingly, in the football, we all know we surely have a winner to progress to the final. To be sincere with you, it's not really been a bad outing for these two teams. They've really played well and showcased their talent. And hopefully, they can go far as a football player in the career. Everybody is a winner, most especially when you qualify away from the group stage where it's a group of dead. And at the end, they escape through. Having an A team from the Southwest representing each state and participating, it's a big honor as well to show the world the Aiden talent. This is the time for Shitu Fawaz as well to make the pace. But the recovery from the right back, Oguni Shea, is very much important. A troll advantage for the team on your side. Trying to locate Shitu Fawaz. Excited box area and it's out for a goal kick. Defenders need to be very much careful not to make a heavy touch inside the box area. A call from the referee may just be a big, big one for them. Lovely skill to send it back to his own teammate now, Suleiman Fawaz. This is Aurel Lua, and at the end, the ball is out for a throw. 
see enough time to play before full time for both sides to rescue the day and send their fans smiling as well and make a party night by progressing to the final. It's been a very much unpredictable semi final. It's been very much balanced game. And it's becoming much more unpredictable to know who progressed to the final. It's been a very much balanced game, and the two teams had really played perfectly well. Not really liking the referee decision, Gabriel Refer, but it goes advantage team on your side from the home territory. Swings it to the left angle. At the hand, not locating his own teammate. But recovered by his own midfielder to locate Shitu Farmers for another pace to run. That's a good recovery there by the right back of the Red Masters to make sure the pace from the midfielder is well stopped and located. The two defenders have been doing a man job to make sure the defenders are stopped. It's looking very much dangerous as the last man standing for the team of your make the interception very much important. They can still recover again and return to attack with another lovely crossing. Oh, that's a lovely good interception from the head in there from the defender. Surely that's a free kick. And this will be the second player of the Remo Stars to go into the referee booking this time around. It's Oguni Shei. It's a defender as well, it's a right back. And it's the second player in this game to go into the referee booking. After seeing his captain, Ola Sukomi Abbas, into the referee booking. Up to five minutes of this game. And he joined his captain into the referee booking. Free kick now for the team on your side. They've really been playing perfectly well, better than the Remo Stars under 15 in the second half. Talking of the team on your side. They can launch the attack forward. And the defender is there. Swings in, nothing given by referee to let play continues. Too much for him. And now he can run. Not the best ball control by Adewale Mubarak. And he's out for a troll. really becoming much more a confidence approach in the second half for the team on your side. They're giving it all good to break the defense line of the Remo Stars who have been very much busy so far in the second half. It's been massive attack, massive defense from the both sides. Can swings the ball to the left hand. This is Sulaiman Fawaz. Still holding the ball in possession of the Remo Stars. There is a player down for the team of your. Ola Sukomi Abbas trying to break the defense line of the team of your side with a pass. But well read by the centre back. At the end, the ball is out for a throw. Yellow number three for the Remo Stars player. And this time around is Aurel Lua. This is the top player of the Remo Stars to go into the referee booking. Joining Ola Sukomi Abbas and Ogune Sheyi in the referee booking. No player from the team Oyo in the referee booking yet in today's game. That's to show how much more aggressive they are so far in this game. A troll advantage for the team on your side. At the end, not good communication from the two players, and it's out for a troll. Advantage, Remo Stars on the 15. Not the best clearance, and it's out for a troll.
A trouble goes in favor of the Remo Stars to keep pressurizing the defense line of the team on your side. The two teams are begging for the goal. They won't want to mind where the goal will come from. They just want to put the ball at the back of the net. The winner in this encounter will surely have a party night, knowing fully well they are local rivals. And surely will be on record and on paper tomorrow morning. Swings it forward and nobody making the follow up and makes it very much easy for goalkeeper to restart. Good ball forward. Rebel starts looking promising this time and the defender is there, the last man standing for the team on your side. Make the clearance. We can make a throw once again from the left side. Chips it back to where it's coming from and not the best control and it's out for a throw confidence. Substitution ready to be made by the Remo Stars under 15 this time. It's the introduction of Adebo Joy Emmanuel to make his own impact for the next 90. And Tim Moyo as well making their own substitution. This time around is the introduction of Maru Fumaru and replace Adewale Mubarak. Maruf Omar fixed in their first opening game and their second game comes in five minutes to go in their last game against Team Quara and now having another big taste of this semi-final knowing fully well it's a big task and a big call for him to fist in the semi-final talking of Maruf Omar ball launch on the head now A call from the referee, that's advantage team on your side. Frustration from the technical crew of the Remo Stars on the referee decision so far. They've not really been liking it. But the referee decision will surely stand. Free kick from the back territory for the team on your side. They're looking much more better in the second half. Better than their approach in the first half. There is another player down for the team on your side. Trying to think it's a muscular problem. It should be okay. Been attentive by the center referee. It's surely okay to continue. And it's a true advantage for the team on your side. Swings it forward now, looking very much dangerous. A touch now. Very much lucky. The touch was very much poor. Oh, it's going for goal. And finally, the breakthrough has come in. They finally had the breakthrough. It was a poor control from the midfielder. And then Jimmy Peter, but a follow up from his own personal teammates. Put the ball to the top corner. And this time around, Isaiah David had no chance to save Timoyo from conceding. And it's perfectly pulled at the back of the net. It's a disaster for Timoyo now. They will have to start all over again. What a moment to score. What a time to score as a player. Timoyo now will have to start all over again. They are down with a goal. This is the moment Rema Stars have been waiting for. And now they can smile 50% to the final. What about the office for the coach of the Timoyo side? It's still not your over until it's over. 
possibility of seeing equalizing goal from the team on your side and still not relenting. Hopefully, they can get the equalizing goal. Lovely chest ball. Confidence now rising for the Raymond Stars on the 15th to push the attack and pressurize the defense line of the team on your side now. Launch the attack forward. I'm very much sure the team Ocean side and the team Lagos are watching live, knowing fully why it's going to be a big task to face these Raymond Stars under 15. Hopefully, if they progress to the final. But still not yet over. <laughs> Lovely pass now. One touch football from the Remo Stars on the 15th side. They are really enjoying themselves now. Lovely stepping up skew now. The delivery is okay and he's out surely for a goal kick. Go kick launch. It's going to be all fight to finish for the team on your side to pull himself back in this game. Knowing fully well, time running out before full time for them to salvage the day for themselves. Still to come, the second semi final fixture between Team Osho and Team Lagos will be a, another big game. Once we are done with this, we have the straight kickoff of the second semi final between Team Oshun and Team Lagos. But now, our concentration on Remo Stars under 15 and the team on your side. As it stands now, Remo Stars under 15 lead by Gautineo. Thanks to Adebo Joy Emmanuel Goal separating the two sides. Nothing given by referee to let play continues. At the end, the launch ball forward is easy for Isaiah David. Time really counting and running out now to save the day for themselves to my side. Swings it forward and nobody for the follow up and makes it easy for the clearance. It's a troll advantage. Swings in, the flag is up, and all goes in favor of the team on your side. Chest down. They are not just ready to make any silly mistake from their defense line. Talking of the Remo Stars, making sure all balls are cleared out of the danger zone. Dazzling away from three players, but intercepted well by the midfielder of the team. Oyo. They recover the ball possession, the Remo Stars. They can try to just break down the defense line. It goes for goal himself, not a bad attempt. And it's hard for a goal kick. Short one to restart the attack for the Timoyo side. Yeah. 
Swings it to the right and corner. Restarting the ball for the Remo Stars to push it forward. Is their last man standing, one of the tallest men in the team. There is another substitution ready to be made by the Remo Stars. On the 15th side is the main man in front this time. And this time around, it will be the turn of Ajibode Rakib to make his own impact. And the substitution. Yellow card number four for the Remo Stars under 15, but that will not matter. If possible, they can change the scoreline. Suleiman Fawaz is the man replaced by Ajibode Korib and free kick advantage. Launching forward, locating his own teammate, he strikes him. Not thinking twice before making an attempt on goal. As the goalkeeper watches the ball, goes out for a goal kick. Advantage. Team on your side. Swings it and it's a gift again for the Remo Stars to return to attack. Goalkeeper coming off his line and makes a very easy catch to restart the attack for the team on your side. Knowing fully well, time running now before full time now. Just begging for the equalizer. Who not want to mind where the goal will come from? They just want to put the ball at the back of the net. The Remo Star defenders are doing pretty well to stop all attempts on goal from the team on your side. The whistle is gone and another substitution is ready to be made by the team on your side this time around. Is Adam Jamu. Yes, sir. And replace Rahul Utman. Hopefully, Adam Jamiu may be the savior for Timoyo to bring them back in this game. As it stands, it's down. Inside are down with a goal. And this is much more needed for Remo Stars to progress to the final tomorrow. The flag is up already for an upside on Abe Jimmy Peter. Who was the provider of the goal? And now they can launch the attack forward, and it's well stopped. Not really to, ready to settle down the ball. Talking of the Remo Stars on the 15th side. Clearing ball on here, and making life much more difficult for the team on your side to settle. And that's best communication. Chance for Timoyo to be back. Oh, and it's 1-1. One, one. What a goal. This is absolutely unbelievable. What a strike. What a goal. What a moment. A collision between the two defenders of the Ramasters. It was a collision between the two defenders of the Ramasters on the 15th side. It's unbelievable. That's not the best communication between the two defenders. Collision, not good communication, and now they've been punished. Beautifully strike by Jao Bolowatife and put the ball to the right hand corner. This time around, Akin Bashir had nothing to do with the ball, it's heartbreaking. Game on, and this is what we we'll expect to see in the semi-final. It's a clash of a titan. Another substitution is ready to be made this time around. Surprisingly, is the goalkeeper 
Last days of the game, Hakim Bashir. And Ghazali Rahman. And the goalkeeper, Hakim Bashir, has been replaced by Ghazali Rahman. So surprised to see this. Hopefully, the, goal, the coach is thinking of changing him for a penalty shootout. And we go straight to penalty shootout. No extra time. We go straight to penalty shootout to know what progress to the final. It's been very much interesting for semi-final 90 minutes of football crack between Team on your side and the Remo Stars under 15. You know what it means. You can see the celebration from the Team on your side knowing fully well their hope now lies in the hand from the penalty shootout.
We go straight to penalty shootout. And first to take is the Ramos Stars midfielder. Abelua Fasos Isaiah David. Abelua for Ramos Stars. Well saved by goalkeeper. It gets it right and it's well dived. This is second Peter of five for Nigeria. Well monitored and saved by goalkeeper. And the penalty will be taken by the captain himself. It's stretching and absolutely is well taken. Goalkeeper gets it right, but it's too late for Gazalo Raman. And the captain, Kyo. Giving his side big, big hope now with his well taken penalty. Goalkeeper gets it right, but it's too late for him. And now, team, are your lead from the penalty spot? Alimi Farouk with a well taken penalty. Now, it's the captain for the Remasters on the 15th side, Alasu Kami Abbas. Can he level it up? This time around, it's well taken. Very much fast for goalkeeper Yazar David. Right and corner. And goalkeeper this time around, I have nothing to do about that. It's the turn of Iroyale Paul to convert from the penalty spot for the team on your side against Ghazali Rahman for the Raymond Stars goalkeeper. Iroyale Paul now for the team on your side. Absolutely, this is brilliant. Remove the penalty and giving much more hope now for the team on your side to progress to the final. Still much more time to take. Still much more penalty to take. Three more to go. It's the turn of the goal scorer. The hopefulness goal is scoring in the semi-final. Adebayo Joy Manuel, open the scoring for Ramos Stars before the equalizer from Ajao Bolowatife. Now he have another chance to score from the penalty spot now. Emmanuel against Isaiah David. Emmanuel, this time he's well taken. Goalkeeper becoming spectator. Watch the ball, goes directly into the net. And not, nothing to do about that. Chance for the team Oyo to restore the lead now. Troshito for us. The number seven Justin against Gazala Rahman. Shito for us now against Gazala Rahman. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely magnificent well taking penalties. Three to assistance. Now is the turn of Ramos Stars to level it up after missing the first opening. A goal from him now will keep the hope alive. And then Jimmy Peter is the man next for Ramos Stars on the 15 to take the penalty. And then Jimmy Peter now against Isaiah David. Adeji Peter now for Rema Stars. Same angle, same position, but goalkeeper had nothing to do about that. Hope still alive for Rema Stars on the 15. This is Oye Komi Kodri against Gazala Rahman. Not really 
with the full confidence to take this, but here will surely. Oh, here coming, Kadri. Against Ghazal Rahman. Can Ghazal Rahman bring back hope for the Ramastars under 15 from this penalty spot by saving it? Oh, here coming, Kadri's call. Kadri! This is absolutely beautiful. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And it's a well taken penalty that is well deserved. A miss now from the Ramasters player who will send them packing back to Kenogo State. He's the centre back. Aigbo Bolaji to give hope. Goalkeeper is that David Needwater. And he's getting one from the bench. He needs water to cook him himself. Aigbe Bolaji is the man with the ball for Remo Stars under 15. And a save from the goalkeeper who sees this the end of the road. Aigbe Bolaji now. Goalkeeper once again. It's still stayed the same position. It's become an arm moved. A goal now. We'll see the whole day. For Team Royal to progress to the final. This is the moment they are waiting for. And the hope now lays on their centre back to send them to the final for the very first time in this Mayday edition. It's somewhere bright. Can it just be the man to send Team Royal into the final for the first time in the state history? Somewhere bright. Against Ghazali Rahman. Samuel Bright! My good. Sorry. I'm not... <laughs> what a miss! It's balanced and leveled. Unbelievable. Somewhere bright with the miss of his own moment as a football player. We're back to continue from where we stop. Israel is my hero now for Remo Stars under 15. Israel, well taken this time. Maru Vumar. Maru Vumar is the next man to give up for Tim Oyot to still keep the hope alive. Maru Vumar against Ghazali Rahman. Maru Vumar is well taken. Goalkeeper sends the wrong way. <laughs> Penalty this time will be taken. And it's well taken to the roof. Oh. No goalkeeper.
open heart will save that ball. This is the goal scorer who leveled it up and brings the penalty. This is a job of the man who scored for Timoyo to bring the penalty and level it up as it stands. He scored the equalizing goal and bring the game into penalty shootout. Ajao Boluwatife against Ghazali Rahman. Can he still save Timoyo again from eliminating from the semi-final? And he saved! And that is the hand of the road! And from this end, it's a bye-bye to Timoyo's side. It's a well-deserved one for Raymond Stars under 15. Assignment well done. It's a job well done, and they will be featured in the final on Sunday afternoon. And Timoyo has sent back in, back to the city of Ibadan. What a sad day for the Timoyo side. What a sad day for the coach. And the Red Masters on the 50 side will continue their journey on Sunday afternoon to participate in the final. It's all over. Yeah, they are told just cross size. The first semi final kickoff. And immediately we have the second kickoff between Team Osho and Team Lagos. What a sad day for the Team Oyo side. It's all over. The dream of playing in the final has been cut short through penalty shootout. That's end of 6 5. First semi final kickoff. Remonstrance under 56. Team Oyo 5.